I'm 23. I wanted to hear this thing. This thing is a problem. I don't know. Uh, Jesus is coming back. This is a serious problem that we are having today. You people here, you were supposed to go to school, you study. If you can't go to school now, you go to mountain. And when you come back, you're a prophet. This is a main problem. That's why you hear people say, we are speaking against prophet. This is a, a serious problem. Now you are 23, 20, 20, 2, 3. And then you say you don't check whether this one is old or is young. The moment you prophesy here, you take over. This is a very serious problem now to the gospel of Jesus Christ. This is a serious problem we are facing. And I know people are watching me when I'm praying with these people. And uh, I'm not saying you have got a problem. If you have got a problem, come and say, I've got my problem. This one you've got his own problem is confessing. But one of our problems is, what will happen when our children like this are prophesying? What will happen? Because now it's prophecy. The moment I say your name is Jigalele, the moment we say amen, the moment when I see everything about you, I'm a prophet. This is the main problem. And what will happen? No character. No character now. No respect. What we want to do is to be rich. And this will affect our gospel. I told people a long time ago. I said it will affect the gospel in South Africa. Can you see what has happened to other countries? The one day they will just say the church must pay tax. I told you one time. And from there, it will be very tough and this is the, where do you come from? I come from Tiflop, but here I'm around Ed Muriting. Touch your chest. In Jesus' name. Come on, you demon! Out! You are free. How do you feel? I feel a little dizzy. You demon, you are still inside there. Put a mic in his mouth. What are you doing to him? Huh? Speak out. What are you doing to him? You demon. Oh. 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 In Jesus' might leave him. He's free. What you need, like him, now, maybe to advise the, all these people who are calling themselves prophets, uh, who are young like him, you need, we have got the, 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 the old pastors, you know, the old ones. In Venda there, I know old pastors. Who can tell you, don't do this, don't do this. We have got pastors even here. I mean, people who are like 60 years up. People like this one, they need there and say, please, I need to submit. Teach me to live right. I mean, the ministry. He will pray for you and say, my boy, you are, you are not a Christian. You need a person who says, you are not a Christian. Not a person when money comes, you are going to heaven. You need a person who just say, don't do this, do this. Are you hearing me? Eh? Yes, sir. So this is what you can go, even where you come from, Beggars Ford, or uh, there. There are these old pastors. Uh, others are our fathers in the Lord. You know, of assemblies, um, assemblies of God of faith mission, those old churches, you go there and say, I want to submit to you, sir. I've got a church like this, whatever, whatever. You'll be taught how to live Christian life. Because according to me, 
you don't, you don't fear God. If you fear God, you'll be afraid to take money of people. You'll be afraid to sleep around. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. We need now, we need to go back to all those people we have rejected. When you grew up there, you were going to church. You see those old pastors who were teaching the word of God in, in truth. Now there's issue of prophecy, issues of anointing, whatever. Now you need those people to teach you the other parts you don't know. God bless you. Do we have the last one? I'm closing on that. Uh, I want to pray with people. Pastors, did you hear that? L look here. We need to go back. I mean, you find this old servant of God you are undermining. And you say, I want to submit there. And from there, they teach you. You're not reading the Bible. When they're sitting with you, when you're talking, they will tell you, I, this one is not a Christian. They teach you the word of God. Because see vision, you know, you can be a prophet from birth. I'm sure you understand that. But that doesn't mean that you know the Bible. You can still see visions when you're sleeping around. Or so maybe Satan gave you. Because if it's from God, there have to be a desire of seeking him. But if it's from Satan, you might be a Sangoma. You might be a Sangoma. So you need those people now. You go there, you say, you don't need the person of your age. He doesn't know what is happening. That person will teach you his experiences and his failures. And then he give you. Now you've got his experiences. Now you are going forward. He will call you, hey, come here. You're not living right. Can you do this? You listen to your message, what you're preaching. I know what you're preaching. You're always in spirit. And the spirit without the Bible, the word of God, is not the real one. It might be an evil spirit. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. We need such people. And such people we have neglected. God loves you.